Hello guys, and welcome back! Where we last left off, Germany must have found the Necronomicon behind my back because somehow, they're raising the dead to drive their tanks! I... can't make this up! It's literally happening in front of my face! Which also brings me to this revelation that if they could have floating knives driving tanks, which is the dead, then they must have also been, been behind every floating gun I've seen throughout this entire Let's Play. Which means Germany has been helping the enemy this entire time. I was not the one that started this. They've been shooting down my planes, sending the armies of the dead to carry, not only carry the, uh, the enemy's guns into battle, but also use it against me. I thought it was strange when a machine gun was just walking on its own. No! That was a dead person. Carrying it. Or inhabiting the machine gun. Either one. Th this is a problem. I have got to stop Germany from using necromancy. Because this... This doesn't make sense. The evil Kaiser... Raising the dead. I... Never thought this could happen. Apparently, in, when they created this mod, they saw it as a possibility that maybe in history uh, they were turn to necromancy to somehow refill their lines. Yeah, we're the evil Dutch Empire, but even we don't go that far. I feel like we're losing out on our title a bit. But don't worry, we'll make up for it in other ways. Like making these states that will be completely under my power. The only reason I make these is... Because I don't have to manage them. You know, I, I take a region and it's like, well, now I can just immediately leave instead of having to leave a peace force. You know, leave a puppet government that can do anything I want. Uh, anyway, that's it for this turn. Just wanted to... Update you on what's actually happening here, in case you didn't get it the first time around. Uh, some people have been explaining to me how he's done this. Necronomicon seems to be the most likely case. So thank you for whoever spied on Germany and found this out. Uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll look into the other theories that you're coming up with. Uh, but at the moment, that seems most likely. So, uh, next turn. Okay, got a man of learning here. Got works on strike in England. Because why not? Again, fine. You don't want taxes? Boom. No taxes. Why are you still unhappy? I give you... You can live in London tax-free now. Do you know how cool that is? Apparently not, because now you're unhappy. Is it because I've got a place of learning here? It is probably because I've got a place of learning. So, Oxford. One of the most prestigious universities in the world. Yep, gotta get rid of that. You know, makes people unhappy. Yes, you gotta get rid of Oxford. People don't like it, apparently. I'm sure they'll regret it in, like, later years. But at the moment, I gotta support the lower class, because they are the back... Wrong button. Uh, they are the backbone of this nation. Also, I need to check this, um... So, let's say you. Yeah, he has military access to my lands. Someone was saying that uh, the reason why they're not, you know, rushing to my aid, my protectorates, is because they don't actually, well, they can't actually get through my lands. They can, they just, they're not in the rush, I guess. Let's prepare that. Uh, eight turns, gonna take a while. Yeah, so I guess I go up here. Oh, I'll, I'll, look, I'll come down here, and I will. I could just auto resolve, honestly. There's no point. I don't think they could even hold me off here, and they definitely can't hold me up there. In fact, yeah, let's just. There's no point in fighting that battle, so mine. 
Another chunk of German territory is now mine. I can even... I could remake the old Holy Roman Empire here. Because in originally it was just a bunch of random German states that was very loosely held together by Austria. Because he, there was the Emperor, and I swear to God, you know, they held full power over them, totally. Yeah. Anyway, that could be a goal. To strip Germany of their power. You know, instead of all this treaty nonsense, this could be on my own version of the Treaty of Versailles. There will be no treaty that, you know, says, Oh, you have to pay me reparations. You have to accept full blame for the war. It's just... Yeah, we're breaking you apart. You're not joining together anymore. All those nations that joined together to become the Empire of Germany, yeah, we're breaking that up. And that's how we do it. You know? It could work. Because apparently they have enough of, a, enough of a national identity to, you know, form their own nation. So, it could be feasible. And they're also under my thumb, so why should I complain? And I'm there next turn? Yeah. Next turn, I hit the last stronghold before Rome. And Rome is the last... No, Vienna, sorry. Vienna? No. Venice, the other V city. That's gonna be the last one, but this will probably be, like, the last... Fashion of major resistance. I could auto resolve it here. I'm gonna see what happens. Because I got more tanks driven by ghosts. So we'll see. They got an army up here. Might have to deal with that. Depending on what they do. And in the meantime, that's it for me for this turn. So, next turn. Okay. Cross Scopoli? I don't even know how to say that name. You have just doomed Naples. I don't you know if you know this, but they are now forced to come out and help you in this battle, and half of the garrison is a turret that can't move. You have doomed that city. Good job. I lost 35 men. You did well there. I don't think I've seen that bad of a fail in a while. That man cost Italy its last sovereign holding. Rome is next on the list because that engineer squad took the scenic, scenic route and did not go via the train track. You know, I guess it's the garrison's fault they didn't have to rush out and help them. It's like, all right, can we lift the concrete bunkers with us? No? Oh. Well, I guess we'll go help them. Should we stay here and defend Naples? Shut up. I'm gonna go help them. Isn't that a terrible idea, sir? Why do you sound not remotely Italian? Nobody to you, sir. <laughs> Shut up, I'm commanding here. Anyway, um... Okay, they have a lot of field guns, a lot of light houncers. I don't know. This one... I gotta do this battle for nothing else. It's because it's the most artillery that I'll, e I'll ever use. So I will see you on the battle map when the storm of artillery begins. See you then. Okay, um, this battle presents kind of a problem. I did not realize it was this group. I thought it was the larger army that was defending the city. Which means that I do not have all the trenches that I would have had, or all the infantry out immediately. This is now a much harder fu uh, battle to win. Anyway, there, those are the old heavy artillery guns. Just so you know, um, we're gonna try as hard as we can to Pull out a win here. We'll see what we can do. They got their own artillery. I should I should probably try and deal with that quite quickly. Um, okay, so I need to focus on anything that 
sort of is not a field gun. So Lighthouncer's here. Take that down. Field gun. Field gun. Field gun. Nope, all the rest were field guns. So... I don't think I really need to worry about all the others, because there's a hill in the way. Uh, so just focus on the men. In the meantime, I could probably just set up another artillery line back here, but... We'll see how that goes. These elite infantry might even be able to hold them off for... some time? Don't know how long. Anyway, get into position here. I need you along the front. Really wish it was the other army, because that would have been prepared already. You could even come along here. I could have a second line of just artillery coming along here. Wish you could speed up. Yes, you can come down here. We'll have all the heavy artillery down here. Got enough one. Actually, have you at this side. I mean, it's all coming together. I don't think their infantry is gonna get there before all my men finally reach the town. Where is the town? Look, the town is back there. Someone told me that this, in fact, is not a massive city. But the, it's very obscure. You can just barely make out a town in the background. And even that does not look like it's the full city. But I guess it's more than that. So I'm sorry, I did not know that outside of the towns, there was a slightly smaller town that we always seem to defend. Thank you for pointing that out to me. You pointed that out to me a long time ago, though. So I'm a bit late on the uptake. Or at least telling you about it. And I'll probably just send all the infantry to go defend these. Might send a few... Might send one to help put the barricades back here. Put the trenches back here. But the rest will move uh, to defend the other artillery line. And if need be, you know, I could just run them up. Attack from the side. How are we doing over here, anyway? Killed many? We killed... a few. These guns move so slow! It's like they're heavier or something! Okay, if I send you... I'm impatient, I just want to move my entire army out. And I can't. Because there's not the entire army here. In fact, if I'm doing it like this, I guess I could just have one continuous line. Going like this. If I just speed up, it'll all come into place. If I go like that, and then the other two can come down here. So you can go... Yeah, like that. I guess I can't. I guess I just gotta have it some how like this. So if I get you all like this. And if I could, uh, could get you all running, that would be great because the Germans are over there. Well, get to see the elite infantry in action, at least. See if they're elite enough. Well, you know, they're mowing down Germans. Always a plus now. Try to come back from this, huh? Actually, they will. They'll just summon the Necronomicon. 
Well, the, Ka the Kaiser, who is now a necromancer, will summon the dead, and I'll probably be fighting these guys in tank form. Or floating gum form, you know? Either one, it seems. Anyway, that's the end of this part, folks. So thanks for watching, and next time, we'll see if Germany can actually break through. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Later, guys.